Okay, let's talk about how to design your floor plan. Now, I don't know if this is the right way to do it. This was the way that worked well for us. I'm a Mac guy, don't fault me for it. So I love to use numbers for pretty much anything. Yes, even drawing, even designing floor plans. Now, when it comes to designing the floor plan itself, several things affect your floor plan. Number one, the windows. Because you can't put a wall, obviously, where a window is. You need to work the rooms around the windows. Same goes with the wheel wells. You can put a walkway where a wheel well is. So you need to figure out what exactly is going to go above them to hide them. Now, when we bought this trailer, we fell in love with the 180 degree view of the front windows. So we knew the living room was going to go in the front, which meant the bedroom most likely was going to go all the way in the back and we need to figure out everything else in between. Now, yes, our bed ended up in the back and that's mainly because we were able to raise it up and use the storage door in the back and basically build a basement underneath our bed. The only problem with that is we need to be very careful of what we put in the basement because it is in the back of the trailer and it could offset our weight and make it a little fishtaily on the highways. I think that's one of the main reasons why a lot of people go with schoolies or vans just because you don't really have to worry that much about your weight distribution as you would need to with a travel trailer or a fifth wheel. Alright, so now that we got that covered, let me show you how I did it in Mac Numbers designing our floor plan. Now, designing anything in Mac Numbers is actually really easy and way simpler than trying to figure out any CAD program out there. First, I start off with a new empty sheet and I'm going to bring in a square. I'm going to tell it to do a no fill on this because I need to be able to see through it. I'm going to do an outline, something pretty thick where I can see it. And let's say your trailer is 25 feet long by 8 feet wide. Yes, I know it says inches, so I convert everything over to inches. So if it is one foot, it will translate to one inch. Next, now that I have the outline, I will do a table. And with the table, I'm going to do the height of each cell one inch and the width one inch. And that basically gives me a one square foot. And now I'm just going to expand it to cover the area of the trailer. I'm going to lock that table into place. So here I would have how many square feet are in a trailer that is 25 feet long by eight feet wide. Now, let's say you measured where a window was and it was 50 inches from the back corner. Now I'm going to copy my square I'm going to actually give it a color fill. I'm just going to select white just so it's easier. And what I'm going to do is convert 50 inches divided by 12 is going to give me 4.167 roughly. So I'm going to make this square that wide. And I have it lined up with the back corner. So that is where my window would start. Just going to do a line tool and select something that to me makes sense that this is a window and I'm going to put that in place. Now my window is from the back corner of the trailer it's to 50 inches and then to 75 inches. So I'm going to make another copy of the square. I'm going to figure out how much 75 inches would be and I'm going to make it that wide. So then I know my window goes up until that point. And there you have it. I got a window roughly in the area where it is on the trailer. Now let's say you need some furniture figured out. 
So I'll just go to Google, I type in queen bed size, and it will tell me that a queen bed is 60 inches by 80 inches. So I'm gonna do the same thing, take a square, I'm gonna make it uh, color fill white, I'm gonna do 60 inches divided by 12, gives me five, and then I'm going to go 80 inches divided by 12, 6.67, and now I'm just going to change the text font so I can type in here queen bed and here you have what the actual size of a queen bed would be in a 25 foot long by 8 foot wide trailer okay now just because we went down all the way to the frame I decided to figure out where the frame exactly is I did the frame the exact same way as I did the window I measured where all the frames are made myself some squares put them in place and figured out where to put the beams here is what the actual layout of our trailer looked like where the wheel wells are, where the frame is, and where the windows and door end up being. Figure out some of the furnitures that you're thinking about and just put those on one sheet just so I have a reference and now I can just copy them and start inserting them into the floor plan. So here is what the actual floor plan of our trailer looks like. Here is the finished floor plan and I realized that I am standing in the trailer and it's complete and you probably want me to turn the camera so you can see it but we're gonna keep that until a later video so let's just talk about this floor plan real quick when you're entering from the door you're going to have the living room in the front of the trailer we went a little non-traditional and put the couch off to the driver's side, thus putting the entertainment on the passenger side. The primary reason for this is I needed the room all the way in the front for the batteries and the electrical system because it is the heaviest system we have on board. Yes, we have AGMs. I can't afford lithium. At least not at this point. Now. From the door going back, we did a kitchen and we did 15 inch wide counters all the way to the fridge. And then between the fridge and the sink area, we did a dividing door. The only reason why we did that is because the sink is double duty. It's not only the sink for the kitchen area, but is also the sink for the bathroom. So we can open the door on the bathroom, we can close the dividing door, and our bathroom technically doubles in size, gives us room to change clothes and get ready. All the way in the back, we got our queen bed with some storage shelves, and yes, it is quite high, so we could build some storage underneath and a basement that we can access through the back door uh, back to the driver's side we've got our compostable toilet our homemade shower and then braxton's full-size bed which is a murphy bed it folds up against the wall and then we actually made his wall a sliding wall it retracts to open up the space in the kitchen which makes a huge difference during the day and doesn't make us feel cramped in the trailer. So thanks for watching and happy travels.